Welcome back. Our guest tonight is a supremely talented actress you know from Booksmart, Lady Bird and Neighbours 2, the delightful, the sensational Beanie Feldstein is here. How are you, Beanie? Are you good? I'm okay. How are you? I'm all right. I can't believe this is the first time we've had you on The Late Late Show and this is the way that we're doing it. I know. I've been aching, aching to, to come join the party and I'm, I'm grateful to see you even through the through the computer. But it's lovely to see you as it always is. Now, where are you, where in the world are you zooming in from? How are you doing? How are you holding up? I am in my childhood home, my, wow. my parents' house in Los Angeles. Um, my bulldog is right next to me, um, sleeping next to my feet. Oh. And I'm I'm okay. I'm 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 holding up. Yeah, what I mean, what sort of stuff are you doing during this shelter in place? How are you keeping yourself busy? You know, I've been I've been very grateful for things to watch at night, things that are like really riveting and amazing acting and directing and writing. And uh, my mom and I sit on this sofa right here and we watch Ozark. Oh, it's and good, it? we are upset. We finished it now, but we were really thought we were like living in it for, yeah. for about three weeks there <laughs> to the point that I came downstairs one day and my mom was like, I figured it out. And I was like, what? She's like, I understand how to money launder. I was like, okay. Um, she's like, I have a new career path. Basically, here's what happens. Okay, I'm Jason Bateman. And I was like, okay, then who am I? She's like, yeah, you. But if you're you, how could I be Jason Bateman? And she was like, this whole thing about um, her new passion for money laundering. <laughs> it's amazing that given how badly their money laundering situation goes, that your anyone's takeaway from Ozark would be. I want to do this. <laughs> this is the path I should go down. This is what I should right do. For me. I yeah. mean, you are a natural performer. Like you are a natural performer. I'm gonna say I think you're like a natural star. How are you coping without, you know, interactions and acting and audiences and all those things? How are you coping without those things? Well, you know. I'm such a people person that I think the hardest thing for me is not just being surrounded by people all the time, but my my group of friends, we all, a lot of us have a flair for the dramatic, should you say? Yes. And we've been doing um, these big elaborate trivia nights over Zoom. Oh, I love and, a good Zoom trivia night. And I, I've heard you might be doing some of those as well. We've and been I, doing one with the staff and we did a family one as well, which was fun. What kind of trivia are you doing though? Well, it changes every week and two people from the group get to be the game masters of the week and pick the theme and you have to come in costume, but it's incredibly fun because most of us are places where we don't necessarily live or like we have, we don't have access to, you know, costume racks. Sure. So we're just kind of piecemealing these costumes together. Um, I was Hagrid for Harry Potter <laughs> a couple weeks ago. Oh, wow. And I made Jackie, my dog, my fang. Um, and we, it's been really, we did um, Friends last week. I was Monica Geller. We've been having a really elaborate kind of, the costumes are always the best part of it for sure. Now, something else you something else you took part in on Zoom. You took part in uh, Stephen Sondheim's 90th birthday celebration online, which was an epic night for anyone who loves him and musical theatre. And you and Ben Platt sang "It Takes Two from Into the Woods," yes. which I got to be honest, slightly put my nose out of joint. I was a bit like, "Wow, I'm watching a song that I did in the film and." I didn't get one email about whether I'd even, I didn't even get the chance to not do it. But you were brilliant. How did you enjoy being part of that? Um, I had nothing to do with I'm Jay. joking, I'm absolutely um, No, um, it was, Ben and I did Into the Woods in high school together wow. when we were in 10th grade. Um, he was the baker and wow. I was Little Red. So we didn't sing that song together in high school, but it's always been, and including your performance, every time we see it, it's such a meaningful piece to us. And um, I don't know, I was, I was, it was really special. I think it's also, it was so special to see how even when we're in different places, we can somehow be together. Like we truly yeah. are soulmates in some way of like, we were in our own homes, we recorded it separately, but it, it felt like we were together. I don't know, it felt nice to perform with him even separately. 
Well, it was so good. And you and Ben together, was it was so fantastic. It really I can was. come out any day for you, <laughs> I'm going I'm to take that clip and send it to him. Now, we've got to congratulate you and talk about your brilliant new film, How to Build a Girl. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, tell them what it's about and who you play. How to Build a Girl is um, based off of Catelyn Moran's brilliant yeah. novel, who is just a feminist hero. And uh, it's loosely based on her life. And she grew up in Wolverhampton. And I play the character Johanna Morgan, who is who's the girl of How to Build a Girl. And she she lives in Wolverhampton in 1993. She embarrassingly plunges her family even deeper into poverty. And she needs a job. And she somehow, by some miracle, gets a job as a music critic in London in the 90s and goes on this wild adventure of finding herself. It's a true uh, coming of age story about a young woman who just wants to to know herself on a deeper level. And it's it's funny and it's brave and it's out there. And I, I love it so, so much. I I love this film. I have to say, I'm a huge fan of, uh, of, of Catelyn Moran's. And when I saw the trailer, I was like, oh, even this trailer has made me feel great on a day where I hadn't felt great. It, I think anybody that, that searches the film out and finds it is gonna absolutely love it. Now, Beanie, we've been asking our guests uh, over the show to share something that they've got at home in our Late Late Show and Tell, something where, that we'd never ever get to see given we're in, we're in your home. Have you got anything you can show us or share with us tonight? I might, I might just have something. This is, okay, so something to know about me Something to know about me is that I was a two-year-old obsessed with Barbra Streisand. And <laughs> when all the other kids were watching The Little Mermaid or Sesame Street, I begged my mom to put on Funny Girl over and over, as you do at two years old, normal. Um, makes sense. Explains a lot, I think, <laughs> as to who I am. And um, my third birthday was Funny Girl themed, which I'm sure all my friends understood. <laughs> time and <laughs> your third uh, birthday my third wow. birthday was our funny girl themed and I my mom made me a rep she's a costume designer she used to be she made me a replica of the costume oh my god and I was obsessed and somehow it got back to to Barbara Streisand and she my given name is Elizabeth so whoever got her I forget a family friend got her to sign it but it says to Elizabeth but in my heart, I know it's to Beanie. Um, and it says, keep singing my songs. Oh my word. Um, Look at that. Look at her. Look at her. Hey, I tell you what I'm in for now. I'm up, I'm in for the Broadway revival of Funny Girl starring you. Let's put that into the atmosphere. Okay, that's the nicest thing I've ever seen. I'm say. serious, I'm not even joking. <laughs> Reggie, do you have a question for any of our guests this evening? Do. Uh, tonight's question goes to, um, I think, I, let's make it for uh, Beanie, actually. Oh, it's a good choice, yeah. Okay. Um, Beanie, if you were, uh, let's say, three years old, but you had the wisdom of someone who was 70 years old, what would you do first? I love it. If I, I'm three and I have the wisdom of a 70-year-old. Mm. Uh, I feel like I would go into, into a home for, for what assisted living or something like that and just chat up all my other friends. Cause if I have the wisdom of, of those gals, I'd want to like be a part of their group, like the golden girls. Reg? <laughs> no, that that's actually correct. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Correct. Please thank our incredible guest, Beanie Feldstein, everybody. When we come back, Machine Gun Kelly and Travis Barker are here with a performance you don't want to miss. Come on back, everybody.